Hello, my name is Julio Rodriguez. In this video, we're going to talk about culture, infusing culture in project-based language learning, and assessing culture in project-based language learning. ACTFO's Word Readiness Standards for Learning Languages defines the concept of cultural knowledge as knowing how, when, and why to say what to whom. In the standards, culture is not only one of the goal areas, but it's also prominent within the comparisons goal area. In this video, we're going to focus on culture as a goal area. The word readiness standards view culture from three angles, perspectives, practices, and products. These are often referred to as the three Ps. Perspectives refers to ways in which cultures interpret the world. Perspectives make themselves visible through values, attitudes, and beliefs. Practices refers to how those worldviews inform social interactions. And finally, the idea of products refers to how perspectives and practices materialize in concrete cultural artifacts, such as music, books, movies, games, foods, tools, etc. Developing the language learner's knowledge of the culture entails developing their understanding of the cultural perspectives, products, and practices of the target culture. In other words, language teachers seek to develop the learner's intercultural communicative competence. One way to think about intercultural communicative competence is as the combination of four factors, knowledge, attitudes, awareness, and skills. To help learners develop their intercultural communicative competence, teachers need to pay attention to all four factors. Let's consider them briefly. Learning cultural facts or acquiring information about the target culture is necessary to achieve ICC, or Intercultural Communicative Competence. However, just knowing the facts is not enough. When we learn a language, we also need to understand how those cultural facts are interpreted or connected by individuals in the target culture. In other words, learners need to be able to understand those facts from the perspective of the target language or the target culture. Another factor in developing the learner's intercultural communicative competence is attitudes. Research suggests that initial attitudes are important in the development of ICC. Respect, openness, and curiosity are attitudes that the teacher needs to model and encourage. Byram, a well-known researcher in the area of intercultural communication, explains that readiness to suspend disbelief about other cultures and to suspend disbelief about one's own makes us more receptive to understand the target culture. Awareness is an important dimension of ICC, and it impacts both knowledge and attitudes. For example, when we become aware of the cultural differences, our attitudes will change, and our knowledge of the culture is expanded. Now, how does awareness relate to products, practices, and perspectives? As you can see in the iceberg metaphor, what we consider cultural products and practices tends to be primarily in awareness, while deep-rooted beliefs, or what we call perspectives, are oftentimes out of awareness. Perspectives are then one of the key aspects to make salient to language learners. The skills associated with ICC can be classified into two main categories, interpreting and relating, that is, the ability to interpret a document or an event, and discovery and interaction, that is, skills associated with the ability to acquire new knowledge of a culture and cultural practices. This latter category also includes the ability to manage knowledge, attitudes, and skills during real-time communication. Now, let's briefly consider assessing intercultural communicative competence. Research suggests that process-oriented assessment and multidimensional assessment provide the best opportunities to assess ICC. Process-oriented assessment is best represented by assessment practices such as portfolios and formative evaluation. Multidimensional assessment entails the use of assessment tools that give the teacher information from many perspectives and at various stages of the project. Types of assessment that give teachers information about where learners were and where they are now in terms of ICC can be particularly useful in determining a degree of progress. 
PBLL gives teachers a rich structure to implement both process-oriented and multi-dimensional assessment. Projects always consist of several tasks that operate in concert to help learners provide an answer to a driving question. In other words, the project provides a context that gives all those tasks, co tasks coherence, which creates multiple opportunities to assess cultural knowledge. Similarly, because projects are made up of sequences of articulated tasks towards a common goal, which is to answer a driving question, they provide opportunities for teachers to implement multidimensional assessment through the use of a variety of tools and perspectives. Tools include, for example, performance assessment instruments, reflection or self-evaluation ass assessments. Perspectives, on the other hand, uh, include uh, assessment from the point of view of peers, the instructor, or a targeted group, which could include community members, or native speakers. Mm -hmm.